I got into banking basically to help pay for college. I uh, started working my, uh, I think it was the summer after my freshman year. And one day I just realized I, I just I just did not want to sit behind a computer. I, I had to do something creative. I had to, to build. I had to do something with my hands um, that would last and have a legacy. I saw this this class was being offered, uh, making a little small table. And so I took it. It was one night a week for four weeks, I believe. I became really infatuated with woodwork, um, knowing that that's what I wanted to do. I kind of jumped in to the deep end and really immersed myself. Um, then I found the school in Scotland um, and we moved over there for almost a year and I, was, I trained at the Chippendale School of Furniture. You know, I was, I was 27, I thought I was Superman. And so I was moving stuff around, some large pieces of furniture by myself and uh, blew out my back. I can't build the large conference tables that I used to make huge pieces of furniture um, and since I can't build I wanted to teach uh, I love woodworking I love furniture so much I, I can't see myself doing anything else I can't go back to a bank I can't look at a computer screen all day this is this is me this is woodworking is a part of me now and I want to give that knowledge to everyone else so that's why I started the school at my current shop, we can take three students uh, comfortably. But the new school will have room for 15 students. Um, so those are the next steps, is to expand the school, uh, grow larger, teach more people. Getting all of those people together uh, just to talk shop, uh, exchange ideas, learn new skills, where, where people can, can grow and, and learn and enjoy themselves.